Hi, folks. John Hecker here again, the pro at Brooklyn Country Club in Rochester, New York. Today, I'm going to do a little different video for you. I'm going to show you one of the ways that I learned uh, why the ball goes where. And it's really done through a club fitting process, which was quite a surprise to me. So part of the fitting process of when a person's trying to get new clubs is you actually put face tape on the club. And you can see right here, I've got face tape. Uh, from Titleist, and I put it on the club, and what will happen is you'll hit a shot, and it'll make an impression into the, the tape of where it hits. And not to anybody's surprise, uh, many times we don't hit the ball in the center of the face. But there are consequences to not hitting it in the center of the face, and oftentimes we don't really understand why that is. So I'm going to take you through that why that is, and hopefully it can help you understand maybe adjustments you need to make uh, to get your ball to go straighter. Now the first chart I'm going to show you here is something that I got uh, I believe from Cobra years ago and what it just demonstrated was the advantages to where you hit it on the club face and and how that'll affect the club head speed. So a person hits it off the center of the blade uh, who has a hundred miles an hour club head speed he's gonna have a hundred miles an hour uh, off the center of the blade. Oddly enough shots that are hit towards the heel of the club can greatly reduce the club head speed. You can see it actually can be 93 miles an hour. And shots hit correctly off the toe, when I say correctly, hitting the right spot off the toe, they'll actually increase your club head speed by quite a bit. And, you know, I'm not going to try to explain it to you right now. It's more of a scientific thing. It would take too long. But I think you probably have your own feelings there where you say, geez, I hit it off the toe there, but that ball really went a ways. Um, so anyway, as you see the marks on the face from your face tape, it's maybe some of the things will start to, to, to kind of click here with you. Now, Titleist made this kind of cool chart up, and I do want to add a couple things to it before I, I take you through it. Each driver has something called gear effect. Uh, the old term used to be roll and bulge. And what it is is scientists put these into clubs where the center of your face of your club is actually the highest point, and then they tail off towards the heel and the toe. And the reason for this is they try to get your ball to go straight on your miss hits. So the heel of the club, because of the gear effect, will start to the left. Shots that are hit off the toe of the club will start to the right. I'm sure for some of you that's starting to click in. You're saying, okay, um, I, d I knew I didn't pull the ball that bad. Why the heck did it start left? Well, it probably started left because you hit it off the heel. So I'm going to take you through um, what they've come up with here and, and how it can help you understand where you want to make your adjustments. So we'll start with a high heeled shot. This ball actually starts high. Um, it doesn't have a lot of spin to it, and the spin that it has is slice spin. So it's going to start high, start moving to the right, and start slicing. And this is a shot that won't go very far, as you noted uh, when we showed you the club head speed. The heel of the club is not a real desirable spot to hit it off off, um, off the face. The low heel is one that we've all hit. Ball starts low. Uh, it ends up with quite a bit of backspin, so it rises. And then it has a lot of fade spin, so it slices. So it'll sort of start left, low left, start rising and slicing. Again, not a shot that you really want to hit a lot. Uh, the nice part about that shot is it generally ends up in the middle of the, uh, uh, the fairway, but it doesn't go very far. The high center, as you guessed it, that's probably where you want to hit it. The reason for that is you're actually going to launch the ball high with very little spin. So you're going to fly the ball a long distance, and when it hits the ground, because there's little spin, it's actually going to roll quite a ways. That is the spot you're trying to hit it off. Uh, the low center is usually still a pretty good spot. You'll get some pretty good distance off it. The problem is it starts off a little bit low and then will rise up on you and land uh, a little softer because of the backspin so it won't roll as much. The high toe is a shot that will go far. Um, you ha launch it high, it has very little spin to it, and it has hook spin on it. Um, so the toe creates a lot of hook spin. The ball will start off to the right, start diving out of the air, and then when it hits the ground, it actually rolls quite a ways. So this shot is often one of those shots where you hit it, it doesn't feel that great, and you get out there and you go, son of a gun, this really, really got out here pretty good. You know, I would say if that if there's any mishit spot, that's the one you're looking for, the high toe. But uh, we're probably with the driver looking more for the high center. The low toe, uh, the problem with the low toe is it starts low, um, it dives out of the air with the hook spin, um, even though it tries to get... Uh, because it's hit lower on the face, it'll try to get some backspin. It just never gets up in the air very far. 
and again, it's an area that you want to avoid. So if you'd like, you can grab some face tape. We've got plenty of it in the golf shop. Go out to the range and, and hit some shots. You can probably hit five or six balls, and you'll have a pretty good idea where your pattern is to your hits. And then you need to make adjustments accordingly. So a person who's hitting the ball off the heel of the club is almost always never happy, and we need to make some adjustments to make up for that. And the toe shots are the ones that sometimes are a little bit of an enigma to you because they work out well, they go pretty far, but they don't feel that great. So um, anyway, hopefully those give you some ideas to improve your game, and we'll look forward to seeing you out in the course soon.